Hi, my name is Danny Fleming of MA Properties Real Estate. So, why do you need an attorney? Or oh, you really do. Uh, it's probably better to ask an attorney that you interview, why do you need them? But let me put it this way. Um, we've, we've seen, um, I've seen over a large, a long career, good attorneys and really, really bad attorneys. Um, they can make your life hell or they can help the whole thing be a streamlined, low stress um, situation. Attorneys that we often deal with, when they find out that there's no attorney on the other side, it's basically, and I'm not meaning, you know, um, oh, what's Dustedly Doolittle or something? I don't know. That's a cartoon character. It's not like um, they're, they're going to do something wrong, but the whole one of the purposes of having an attorney represent you is so that the the purchase and sale agreement that is drawn up and handling you know the 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 transaction through to closing is for your benefit they represent you they represent you and if there's not an attorney on the other side they can get an awful lot more things into say the purchase and sale than they would be able to otherwise. Um, I've seen situations where there has been an extremely good attorney on the other side and a so-so attorney on our side. And you get to closing and something happens and it's not even the standard way it's normally done but the other attorney has has had the purchase and sale documented in such a way and passed you know gotten through our good attorney things that are just not common um and our attorney missed and and it's your choice as to who to use as an attorney um i should say that it is your choice. We can recommend some good ones, absolutely, but it's still your choice. I think it's important to point out, again, <laughs> that there's good attorneys and there's really bad attorneys. If you're getting a recommendation of an attorney from a colleague at work or your next-door neighbour who uses an attorney once every 10 years, that may not be such a good recommendation. Um, we use attorneys day in and day out and know the ones that you shouldn't be using. Um, know the ones, you know, know the ones that are really good attorneys. So you need an attorney to help you through the transaction and get you to the other end in as least amount of stress as possible. Um, that's probably the key key thing there because your attorney represents you it's really important to have someone representing you in the transaction and don't have the other side's attorney rubbing their hands in glee when they find out that you're not using an attorney use one 100% 100% 100% use an attorney please. Um, it will protect you. Anyway, I think I've, I've gotten on my soapbox enough about that. Um, if you'd like to hear more, <laughs> if you'd like to hear more, then please reach out. I'm more than happy um, to get on it again. Um, but it is really, really important. Um, I've seen so many situations where attorneys have made the situation so far so more worse so much worse than it needs to be and I've seen attorneys that will handle something so well it doesn't become an issue um, 
so you need an attorney. Anyway, if you want to talk about it more, here's my contact info and have a great day. Bye.